If you have yet to enlist in the Navy and there's a particular rating, a job that you want, and you're not sure how the ASVAP score really works, then this video is for you, so stay tuned. I'm gonna explain how to get the rating that you want. So if you want, say for instance, MA, Austin Alexander, so many people watch his videos and they're like, man, I wanna do what he does. I wanna be an MA. So they think they have to go and score 69, 70, whatever on that percentile, as I stated. All that number means is, are you eligible to enlist in the Navy or any other branch? What you wanna look at is the standard scores. So you wanna break it down. So MA, let's take a look at the MA. MA is your AR plus your WK, it must equal 98 or more, and the WK must be 43 or more. So if you're wondering, what the heck are you talking about? There are 10 sections that make up the ASVAB, okay? So for instance here, your AR. Your AR is your arithmetic reasoning. And your WK, that's your word knowledge. Because if you think about it, as an MA, you're gonna be writing reports. But those are the two components of the test. Uh, the 10 sections you take, those are the two that you have to worry about, concentrate on to become an MA. So between the two, you're looking at, you need a 98. Okay, AR, WK, needs to be a 98. But out of those two numbers, you need a minimal of a 43 on your WK. So say hypothetically, you score a 100 between those two sections. However, you score a 70 on the AR. So that means you got a 30 on the WK. You can't be a, an MA. And the reason being is you, you need at least a 43 or more to become an MA out of those two sections. So I hope that explains it a little bit better, but in case it doesn't, let's take a look at another one. So for instance, maybe you're like, hey, I really don't like reading comprehension, any type of, uh, you know, with the PC paragraph comprehension, you know, my reading, I'm just feel a little overwhelmed. I know when I took my exam, I'm a slower reader and I have to reread something a couple times, some sometimes depending on what the topic is to really grasp it. And when I know I'm being timed, I feel pressured and I just, I mess it up. So, you know, I know I'm gonna score low. I just know that. No matter how much I practice, that'll be a low score for me. So maybe, you know, hey, that's, I don't want a rating that has something to do with the PC, the paragraph comprehension. Maybe I wanna be a UT, okay? Work in the CB rating. Now, the U a UT, it's AR, plus MK, plus EI, plus GS. Arithmetic reasoning, mathematical knowledge, general science, and also your electronic information. So if that, hopefully that, you know, explains it even a little bit further to where if you know you're not good in a subject and you're studying your butt off and no matter what, the scores are just not going to where you need to be, by taking practice exams and already knowing where you're coming out at, you can tailor what type of rating you can choose. So I hope that makes sense. If it does, or even if it doesn't, let me know in the comments below. I can come up with another way to try and explain it to you guys. But, you know, as you'll see too, it can be confusing because you have that VE. Because VE, when you look at it, those two sections, PC and WK, they make up your VE. So in some of these sections, you may think, oh, you know, there's only two, but if it has that VE in there, you're really looking at three sections that you have to study. And I know this can be confusing. That's why I want to touch base on it now, get a better feeling of what kind of questions you guys have. And I want to make a lot of videos with this whole topic here, because I hear too often individuals throwing out that other number. You know, I only got a 50, I only got a 60. Like I said, that number only means, are you eligible to enlist? That is it. Granted, I'll say it again, the higher score you get, that means you scored higher in all these sections. But remember, you should never compare yourself to somebody else, all right? We all have different backgrounds. We all have different ways of learning. And a 50 is what they call the standard score, all right? So, you know, it's, it's on a bell curve. And something else to look at, when you go to take the exam, say you're 18 years old, right out of high school, and somebody else might be 35, joining late in life, 
You're not competing against one another, okay? They're, they're, different. they're broken up by age categories, okay? But just to put that out there, you're not competing with the same individuals. Study, come up with a plan. In the video I put out yesterday, I'll link it up above, I have the ASVAT for Dummies for free. It's a 2010 version, but mathematical problems and things of that nature, they don't change. The stories for the, the paragraph comprehension may change, they may change the numbers, but math is math. And I know that's the, the subject that individuals struggle with the most. So do me a favor, go over to the other video, download it, study. Study, study, study. Take practice exams online, do whatever you have to, to get the score for the rating you want. And really look at the different ratings and get an idea of what may interest you. Have that idea before you go to the recruiter. And I put this out there before. If you live in South Florida and you would like for me to go to the recruiter with you, I'd be more than happy to go. All right. If there's anything you want to know specifically about ratings, please comment down below. Send me a message. My email is always down below under every single video. And I'll get back to you as quick as I can, usually within 24 hours. Okay. So please let me know what questions you have. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And until the next video, which will be tomorrow, I'll see you then. Take care. Please be safe. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.